push it to everything in VR chat and push it somewhere else. What's up, homies? It's your boy M Sage, and you want to know how to get your avatars into Chill Out VR? Don't worry, I got you. First, let me go over everything that you're going to need. You're going to need to download the CCK, the Content Creation Kit, which is pretty much the same as the VR Chat SDK. Um, and there goes Discord notifications. Anyway, you'll need the CCK, which is like the SDK of VR Chat, and you'll also need this version of Unity, which is the same exact version of Unity that VR Chat uses. So you should already have it. Um, but if you don't already have it, then you can just get Unity Hub here and then download this version of Unity through Unity Hub. There's also this tool that allows you to convert everything that's on your avatar for VR chat into a CVR avatar, which you can get from this Gumroad page. Link will be in the description. Um, I'm not going to really be using it, but it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a really easy just click and drag kind of thing, and it will just convert most of what's on your avatar into CVR toggles and everything like that. For those of you who don't already have an avatar that's already set up um, from VR Chat and you're just looking to create a character for the first time in VR Chat, you'll need to create your character preferably in Blender. You'll have the bone set up, the mesh set up, and you'll just export it as an FBX. Have your bones, have your avatar, uh, get all the clothes and stuff, not the light, not with the light, file, export, FBX. Selected objects, don't check baked animations, uncheck leaf bones, select your location, and export your file. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. It's right here. Now let's get on to the meat of things. Uh, we're going to want to create a Unity project. If you've just used the avatar converter, then you won't need to do this step. You'll already have a Unity project. But for those who are following along with just getting a FBX into Unity and getting uploaded, you'll need to create a new project. Select your version, which is the version of Chill Out VR and uh, VR Chat. Once you have your location, let's just call this Chill Out VR Tutorial cool. and create. Now, first things first, you're going to want to install the CCK that you downloaded from the website just by clicking and dragging it in and then hit import and it will build your MIDI project into something that can upload an avatar into CCK. I mean, into Chill Out VR. Ah, now you're going to want to make the following folder so we can keep everything organized. Right click your project tab, go to create folders. We're going to call it um, the name of the avatar, Nero. Let's call it Nero. Then create folder, FBX folder, create folder animations and controllers make another folder, call it materials, make another folder, call it textures. Open up the FBX folder and that FBX that you exported from Blender earlier, or if you just have an FBX that you would want to turn into an avatar, go ahead and click and drag that FBX into your FBX folder. Now, you take the FBX and you want to make it a humanoid rig. What this means is making it so uh, Chill Out VR's default animations will actually apply to this avatar. So it's humanoid, apply, click on configure, and make sure everything is lined up. I have a, uh, hips as my root, spine as my uh, spine one, chest, I don't have anything assigned there, which you do need a chest bone that right here because spine two is my chest this avatar everything else seems pretty lined up i don't have any eyes on this avatar i'm just gonna click none and hit done now we need to export our materials which we will now with the fbx still selected in our project tab we'll click on materials and then click on extract materials we only have two materials here black and white nice and easy Click on that materials folder that you made earlier, select folder, and boom. Now the materials should be in this folder. Now we want to actually start making our avatar ready for CVR. Click and drag your FBX into your hierarchy so that it is centered. You're going to want to 
edit the materials. White is just going to be white for me. Um, you may use Poyomi or something to make your materials look right. Um, but for this character in particular, it's just black and white. And for simplicity reasons for this tutorial, so we can just quickly have this information in your hands. Now, you're going to want to select the avatar in your hierarchy. And you know how usually you would do the uh, VRC des avatar descriptor? In this case, it's just the CVR avatar. Click on that, and now that's your descriptor pretty much. And right here, you'll notice you'll see two little arrow things. That is your view position and your voice position. Let's move the voice position to where the mouth will be coming from. And the reason why this is specified, because let's say you have a hand puppet and you want the hand puppet to be the mouthpiece and not like your actual head, you can change that to be one of your hands. Or if let's say your mouth is in your hip for some reason and you want the voice to come out of your hip, you can assign it to that. But in this case, the voice is coming from my head. So we don't really need to change all that. View position, you want to put that somewhere between where the eyes would be and in the front. This kind of shows like where is the screen of your headset and it's right about here for me. Going down, we have a missing avatar override. This is kind of like your FX layer and your action layer. So we don't really need to touch this yet. We're going to get to that at the bottom of this page. Next, we have uh, finding a face mesh for a lip sync. This is just like in VR chat, but in this case, you would click and drag the body here, which whatever has your visemes, you put that here. Oh, what did I just do? Okay, yeah, you'll put that here and you'll be able to assign your blinking and such. Really, you're only going to need blink one if you have a set of two eyes, you know, just blink one because everything's going to blink at the same time. If you have multiple eyes all over your character, then you can assign those various blinkings here so that it's not all blinking at the same time. Or if you have two eyes that blink at different times, then you have blink one here and blink two here. But we don't have any of that, so we're not going to do any of that right now. Use lip sync, we don't have any lips, but this is exactly the same as VR chat. You use the same exact visemes, so you can do your lip sync here. You can change whether it's visine based or single blend shape where it's just your mouth going up and down or uh, something just opening and closing or something and then there's a jawbone for maybe the furries if you have a jawbone that you just want to make that move on a hinge you can do that as well but we are not using that because we don't have any visimes right now um, enable tagging this is semi-important if you have items on your avatar that are gory or of horror or uh, maybe some long range sound that you don't want uh, people to be harassed by. And if you don't want to get banned, then you want to tag it as this. What you would do, let's say that my sage uh, robe here was something that was of horror. Then you would want to select that, select the game object, and you can add more and just leave it as that. If there's no fallback item, so let's say uh, this is a bloody version and you want the non-bloody version to be shown if the person has horror turned off, put that non-bloody version in the second slot. But we don't have any horror, we don't have anything that's bad, so we don't need to do any of this right now. Now the cool part, advanced settings here. This is how you basically attach your avatar animator, your, uh, your FX controller, your action layer but the program will actually make this for us we just have to click create animator it will create a folder for us you can find that right here advanced settings you'll see the nero folder and you will have these two uh, controllers here this is a list of all the overrides which you'll have your default emotes you can replace those emotes by putting animation clips in you have all of your gestures for your hands. You can change your hand con your hand shapes using these. And you can just put in new animation clips through here to change how your hands actually react to certain poses. Same thing for down here. You can change your locomotion, your flight animation. You can change how your bones are posed when you're flying. Maybe you want to 
go with a pose for your body of your body surfing. Um, there's also states where, let's say, you want to change the state of your avatar, maybe. Um, you want to make it so you have different clothing or different colors in a certain state. You would then replace those down here. As for your other animation controller, you're not really going to touch this. There's not really anything to really change here. This is just how everything attaches to this right here. Really, this is going to be the main thing that you edit, not really this. But once you finish editing this right here, then you're going to be able to attach the override to the avatar. Once you hit attach, then it will be pushed up here into your animation overrides. You'll see that this is the same exact thing as this. And we want to put our controller up there, actually. Or actually, we would really replace that with that, put this here, and then hit uh, attach the avatar. But we've already done that, so we don't need that. And now you're pretty much done. Um, this is a working avatar. Uh, you won't have a pipeline ID or unique identifier here and now you just want to upload the model go to control panel and click builder and settings and usually you won't automatically be logged in so i'm just going to go ahead and log out for you guys so i can log in you want to put your username all in lowercase this is important and now you need an access key in order to find your access key you log into your account on the website there's no sensitive information here for you guys to pull from so i'm perfectly safe you want to find your content creation kit master key. Hit copy, go back to your control panel, put it in the access key slot and click login. It'll take a little second for you to actually log in. And then once that is connected, you can then check for any errors in the avatar, fix import settings. Now it's all fixed. It's ready to go. Upload avatar and we get upload UI which is right here bam a little bit of a delay there here you want to check out if you have anything that's uh, maybe not uh, fully suitable for everybody in game if you have any suggested content or nudity make sure you click all that because if you do have nudity on your avatar and you don't have the 18 plus mark and people who don't have the 18 plus mark can see your nudity will get banned from the game so make sure you go through and check everything that you need to check out just to give proper safety to everybody what the heck is that all right so on to the next step you can go ahead and name your model make sure you have a name that is somewhat searchable because if you want to upload models that are public then people can actually find it if not then you don't have to do anything after uploading the model we're just going to call this model Terra Nero. Give a description. This model was made for msage for page only on msage.com. Why not? So change log. Just uploaded the avatar. Boom. You can see the file size. You can see the manifest size. This is how uh, big the file is actually going to be once it's in game, I believe. And that should be it. Uh, set this upload as active, you know? Do this as the uh, profile picture and continue to the next step. Just make sure you check these two things, that you tagged everything correctly and that this actually belongs to you and you didn't steal anything from DeviantArt or from somebody's Gumroad or ripped someone else's avatar. Next, and your model will upload. Once that's part, once that part is done, then it's going to encrypt the file so it doesn't get ripped and boom, the file is uploaded. You now have your avatar in game. Now here we are in game. We're gonna go ahead and hit escape, go to our avatars menu. And if we check the details here, we'll see that our description is right here. Our list of tags, which we don't have any tags. And the title of the avatar and who it's made by, it's publication, private, is all right here. Click change. And it's going to kind of download in the background and uh, this is another version of the same avatar that I just previously uploaded. But here we are, it's in game. You now have an avatar in game. You know how to upload your avatar. 
if you use the automatic VR chat to CVR converter, then you'll have all of your toggles and such. If you're on desktop, you can hit tab, go to the emotes and toggles, and you can do all of your emotes here, all of your states here, your other toggles, you can bow, and all that other good stuff. Also, you can go to your advanced avatar settings if you have an out safe work avatar and you need to toggle some of your clothing items you can toggle them all in this list but i don't have any of that stuff because this is just a simple tutorial and that's gonna be it for today's video and i hope you guys learned how to get your avatars into chill out vr and i hope i can see a lot more of you guys over there and i'm really sorry about everything that is going on in vr chat right now it is just not that fun to be in that situation right now so uh i'm gonna help you guys get on over to chill out vr but again, that's going to be it for today's video. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and leave a like. If you haven't subscribed and you want to become part of the Dink Homie family, go ahead and do so. And I will see you guys later. Peace and much love. Promise that you never be lonely. Promise that you never be lonely. Promise that you never be lonely. Promise that you never be lonely.